Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about uh, metabolome. metabolome. Okay, so simply about what is metabolome. Uh, so, uh, sorry, change. Okay, so we'll be talking about metabolome. And what is metabolome and what is its importance? Okay, now what we know about metabolome is that usually inside the cell, whatever molecule we get whatever small molecule we get less than a molecular weight of less than 1500 dalton will be called as metabolome right so whatever molecules we get less than uh, 1500 uh, dalton molecular weight will be called as metabolome inside the body now uh, metabolomes are everywhere that means whatever we can see inside the body uh, inside not body actually inside the cells so if you look at the tiny cells inside the tiny cell we are having many levels of metabolomes that are present that means uh, we can have uh, sugars as our metabolome so let me write what are what can be a metabolome so everything that are scattered around for uh, and generated during different stages of different cellular processes if i draw this nucleus so different cellular processes inside our body it generates all the different variety of metabolomes for example example say say sugars uh, or sugar derivatives are metabolomes alkaloids are metabolomes and obviously uh, peptides are metabolomes so peptides and obviously there are uh, other things other many things that drug drug and drug deri derivatives that we take uh, those are metabolomes so all the small components uh, having molecular weight less than 1500 dalton will be called as metabolome now why we are at all bother about this metabolome right now uh, metabolome is related to what is called metabolites right metabolites now metabolite means as we have talked here before, the all of those things that are present inside our body having molecular weight less than 1500 Dalton generated via any kind of a cellular pathway will be called as metabolites. Now all those metabolites will be together called as metabolome, right? So you can see these are all metabolites. Sugar can act as metabolite, peptide, uh, drug uh, can act as metabolites. So everything uh, are uh, a part of this metabolite circle, right? Now this metabolites, how the metabolites are generated actually? So how metabolites are generated? Metabolites are generated, generated via the process, cellular processes, right? Cellular process. So what kind of cellular process usually provides metabolite? Uh, for example, if we, if I write here, for example, we can write uh, glycolysis, for example. Glycolysis is a process of cellular type which generates metabolites. A Krebs cycle or TCA cycle generates metabolites, and every different types of metabolic pathways are there which generates all these metabolite components. Now you can imagine that uh, there are many types of many many different type of metabolic pathways are present. So you can imagine how many different types of metabolites that can be found inside a cell countless type right so all these metabolites that are present inside the cell they are just not present as their own because they are always interacting with each other and that is the most important part so what we are focusing on now we are focusing on the interaction interaction of metabolites right so this is very very important so metabolite interactions are really important because once we know all the metabolic profile inside the cell and how all the metabolomes, uh, metabolites are generated and how they are interacting, we can build what is called a metabolomic map, right? So we can build a metabolomic profiling inside our body. So what you can make? A metabolic profiling. Metabolic profiling. So what do we mean by metabolic profiling? For example, say uh, this is a cell of you and say let me draw another cell. So this is another cell. This is the cell of me right now. So let's say here this is my cell and this is your cell. Now my cell is containing my own metabolites and your cell is having your own metabolites. But if we compare both of this uh, of human being, so that's why the metabolic profile that we are going to get uh, will be very much similar. But remind you, this won't be identical because this metabolites that we can find or uh, all the components of metabolites, which is called a metabolome, which we find uh, can be varied uh, from person to person, depend upon different parameters. And the parameters are obviously there are parameters like age. So let me write it here. Parameters like age, 
it will vary according to age according to sex for example it will vary from male to female and obviously it will vary depending upon your food habits right depending upon your food habits and obviously it will vary depend upon uh, your lifestyle so these are the di different things uh, that control uh, the balance of metabolite inside our body now change in all these things will vary the type of metabolic profile that we get from cell to cell or from person to person right so uh, from by so 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 from this particular data what we can imagine that if we can make uh, this kind of metabolomic profile or metabolic profile of a particular human being then change in this metabolomic profile can provide us some important insight about the change in its uh, change in uh, that particular person's activity or daily life right for example say if we can track all these metabol metabolomes and how they're interacting and make what is called a metabolic profiling and this is uh, this profile is placed for example as a uh, what you can say as a control and then suppose due to any kind of disease this metabolomic profile changes now what we can do now after the disease we can compare the diseased metabolomic profile with this normal metabolomic profile to to tell that what kind of disease actually take place right so these things can be uh, understood by comparing the metabolomic profile uh, with the normal type so this is a kind of projected application uh, of metabolomics in the future because this is a very new science and it is developing day by day now uh, i uh, i can also tell you another important part of metabolomics that is that this metabolome that we get which is the total component of all metabolites present in our body varying in different these environmental factors obviously now this metabolome uh, can consist of two different types one is endogenous another one is the exogenous so let if I, if i write so let me write it here so let me write here metabolome so if we divide metabolome it will be divided into two different part one is endogenous another one is exogenous okay so let's say this is endo genus and this is exogenous now that means some of these metabolomes that are present inside our body are provided by our own body and some of them are gained from outside right now uh, from this endogenous type we can have again two different type of metabolome among this endogenous part one of them is a primary type or main type metabolome that are provided and another one is a secondary type right secondary metabolome on the other hand the exogenous can also be divided into primary and secondary but that's not important now first of all what are the endogenous type of metabolome endogenous metabolomes are those which are uh, provided and generated inside the cell so these are generated inside the cell so let me write it here okay so generated inside cell and these secondary type of metabolites are also generated inside cell so both of them are generated inside cell this uh, endogenous type but exogenous types are those which are taken from outside so okay so taken from outside okay okay uh, okay now let's say uh, this endogenous type are again divided into two part primary and secondary among the primary the primary metabolites are those which are generated uh, during the first primary pathways of metabolomics or first primary pathway of meta uh, what you can say metabolism right so during the metabolism pathway the major pathways like like say glycolysis like say glycolysis and like say Krebs cycle or TCA cycle is a type of that and obviously there are uh, say uh, beta oxidation of fat so these are the major type of uh, metabolic pathways from this kind of pathways we what we can get we can get uh, for from this glycolysis and Krebs cycle pathway what we can get metabolites like say pyruvate what we get metabolites like this is two fed metabolites like pyruvate right so this is a kind of metabolite that we get and obviously uh, from this beta oxidation uh, type of thing what we can get we can get lipids right so uh, acetyl coa and lipids and all these things right so all of them will be the primary type but secondary metabolites are those which metabolites are provided and generated by combining few primary metabolites for example phenolic compounds say 
phenolic compounds inside our body which are generated and obviously alkaloids alkaloids which are generated these are generated uh, after uh, the breakdown product of any amino acid pathway right so in the amino acid pathway suppose uh, amino acid metabolism pathway there are many amino acids generated combining those primary metabolites we can produce some metabolites and those metabolites are called secondary so from the formation of secondary metabolite what we want we require the attachment of few primary metabolic uh, metabolites okay so that's how secondary metabolite arises but on the other hand exogenous type are also they are taken from outside so from the exogenous type what we can get we get uh, drugs majorly this is composed of drugs so let me write it here say so this one they are made up with drugs now the drugs that we take those drugs are found inside our body as the second highest concentration of secondary metabolites or primary metabolites that are available so can you imagine how much amount of drug we are taking so that's a very important insight by comparing those metabolomic profiles right so this is a very important observations of metabolomics nowadays and obviously there are certain type of uh, uptaken uh, metabolites are also there like food color so these food colors are also kind of metabolites so drugs food colors can also be present and these things can act as also metabolites inside our body so here comes all the different types of metabolites present in our, on our body right so this is about metabolome and we know studying metabolome is important because it will give us the understanding of how the metabolites are working and how our body is working okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you